Kwan. I'm Xiao Juma from Peking University. Today, I'm happy to share our work star GNN, improving graph neural networks with structural adaptive safety feeds. Composing entities with link between them, graph structure data can represent various data in different domains. For example, social networks specify the social connection between people. Citation networks show the citation relations between papers. Graph neural networks have gained tremendous attention in recent years, as they can mine rich information on graphs and be applied to different downstream tasks, including noise classification, gain prediction, etc., where they achieve great improvements compared with traditional methods. Graph neural networks define the convolution operation on the neighborhood of nodes. They collect the neighborhood information of the central nodes through different aggregation functions, like mean aggregation, to generate representation of nodes. For a central node, the imp importance of different neighbor varies. Traditional graph neural networks do not distinguish the importance of nodes. Most of them treat all nodes in neighborhood equally. Graph attention networks resolve this problem with attention mechanism. Soft attention weights were used to discriminate importance of context, which allowed the model to better focus on relevant context to make decisions. However, graph attention networks only consider similarity between node features, ignoring the similarity of topological structures of the neighborhood. On the other hand, soft attention methods have the problem of oversmoothing. When the size of the neighborhood becomes larger, the importance of all neighbors approach zero. In this paper, we propose graph neural networks with structural adaptive receptive feeds, uh, stars GN in short, which adaptive, adaptively structure construct a receptive field for each node with structural information and further achieve better aggregation of information. This is the framework of star GNN. First, we model local structural distribution based on anonymous random work, followed by using the structural information to construct receptive fields embedded with neutral information. Then as the generated receptive fields are irregular, we, de we designed a subgraph aggregator to boost node representations and theoretically prove that it has the, the ability to capture the complex structures in receptive fields. Before introducing this model, I would first introduce several related concepts. The first one is anonymous random walk. For each node VI, we generate a certain number of random walks beginning from VI and encode the walks into anonymous random walk. The difference between anonymous random walk and random walks is that anonymous random walk depict the patterns of random walks regardless of the exact nodes visited. As shown in the upper figure, one anonymous random walk can relate to different random walks. The second is the statistical equivalence between node embeddings and structural re representations. Node embeddings are often seen as a lower dimensional projection of the rows and columns of the adjacency metric A that preserves relative positions of the nodes in a graph. On the other hand, if we said a model learns structural graph representations, then it must be able to identify different typological structure. The first part of our model is to learn the distribution of local structure of each node. We characterize structural information of the neighborhood with the help of anonymous random walk. For each node VI, a set of anonymous random walks starting from VI with length L are sampled, which is regarded as the distribution of anonymous random walks of this node. With anonymous random walks, we are able to reconstruct a local subgraph of node VI. 
However, learning a particular representation for each type of an anonymous random walk may suffer from information loss as unseen nodes appear in test data. Therefore, we depict the distribution of anonymous random walk instead. Not only the structural information, we also want to maintain the input feature in our model. Therefore, we design a loss function which aims at maximizing the mutual information uh, between structural distribution and the input of local features, where UI is the structural embedding of node i and xj is the, the, is the input feature of node j. The first term tried to capture the input feature, while the second term maintained the similarity of structure. Considering that the opti optimal receptivity should provide the most inform information for the central node and the mutual information value expresses uh, the information that the central node gains from the neighborhood. Specifically, when the information gain of a neighbor to the central node is greater, it means that it is more important to the central node and it should be emphasized. Otherwise, it is more likely to be noise or should be ignored. So with the help of mutual information, we define the information gain ratio as the ratio of information gain provided by a receptive field S to be gained by the whole neighborhood and I. An existing aggregators such as min, max, and LSTN aggregators aggregate information in direct neighborhood. However, this aggregator is not suitable enough because the constructed receptive field is irregular. We call it the preliminaries. We have learned the node embedding for each node and a particular subgraph. As we proved in our paper, the node embedding U is G equivalent, and we are able to learn the representations of this irregular receptive field. With the help of node embedding, we conduct our five graph datasets of different types and scales, which contain three citation methods. In Cara, Cecil, and Panet. Nodes correspond to papers as correspond to undirected paper citation, and node label correspond to research views. Besides, uh, GitHub and Facebook are two social datasets. Nodes correspond to user and edge to their friendship. Node label on GitHub represent whether a user is a web or a machine learning developer. Node labels on Facebook have four categories. We conduct on the number of the nodes attributes and social network by selecting the most frequent ones as all attributes are binary and sparse. Our baseline contains both methods that preserve node proximity and graph neural network model that learn structural representations. Among them, the raw feature is a naive baseline representing the input feature. Graph convolutional networks, GraphSage and GIN are typical graph neural networks. GAT, JKNet, CSGN, and GiniPath are designed to handle different weights among neighborhoods. We conduct experiments on the task of node classification. We randomly sample 20 nodes per label to be used for training. And attributes of nodes are available. Then, the trained model are evaluated on 1,000 test nodes, and five additional nodes are used for validation purpose. The results show that our model starting performs consistently better than all other com comparisons on all datasets. Among them, our model is significantly better than other models, especially on Cythera, Facebook, compared to GAT, JKNet, and GiniPath. Our model constructs adapted receptive fields according to structural information and has a stronger aggregator to utilize neighborhood information so that achieves better performance. The effectiveness of each component in our model. Start and node structure refers to not incorporating 
incorporating the structural information into the construction of receptive fields, but only using node features. Start a random sample refers to randomly sampling 10 nodes in the neighborhood, as in GrabSage, but not selecting important neighbors according to mutual information. Start a node boosting means that we do not use our subgraph based boosting method, but only use a mean aggregator. It can be seen that when constructing receptive fields, incorporating the structural information can bring about a 2 percentage improvement, proving that structural information helps to select more useful neighbors. And each part of star gen shows its power in this experiment. In the subgraph based aggregator, we try to use different node embedding to boost the final representations, star GNN raw feature and star GNN SVD embeddings. Refers to refer to using node attributes and node embeddings obtained from SVD on the adjacency metric of graph respectively. We find that the expressive power of these naive node embeddings is insufficient. Even if the boosting method is used, the improvement is still limited. Choice of node feature aggregators has little effect on the final results. This is because we, prov we provide a good subgraph aggregator, so the result is relatively stable for different choices of node feature aggregators. To summarize, we tackle a key issue in the graph neural network field, sampling and aggregation of neighborhoods of nodes. We propose star GN that collects and aggregates useful neighborhood information and generate node representation with stronger expressive capability. Finally, we elaborate experiments to show the power of our model. Thank you. The above is my lecture of improving graph neural networks with structural adaptive receptive fields.